What the fuck was that? Your sister has turned into a zombie. Hey everybody, um, I'm go here today to do an unpackaging, and it, as you can tell, I'm very tired. I'm sorry, I'm always tired nowadays, right? Um, I've been working on um, brochures. I have to go to um, some conferences, and basically this has got a uh, vignette from one of my books in it. There's the cover of my new book on the back, and then the one in the front, and I have to... Oops, print those out and get those done, but that doesn't really matter. But that's why I'm so tired. I slapped on some lipstick because I got this package a couple of days ago. I wanted to do a video then. I've been having a lot of internet issues again. I don't know what is going on with our internet, but it sucks so bad. Um, the other day I was trying to watch a video, and I think the video was, uh, it was short. It was like five minutes, and it took over... It was 30 or 45 minutes. It was somewhere. It was a long time to load. So I can't watch any videos and it's really starting to tick me off. So I'm sorry I've not been around. Hopefully we'll get our internet issues resolved. Um, my book releases in May. I'm hoping once it, it, it releases and things kind of just slow down, I can get back to being on YouTube and, uh, and chatting with all of you. I really miss all of you and I'm sorry I'm not around. But on to the purpose of this video, and I'm so, so sorry. I'm so tired, and I'm doing this because I'm so excited. I, I opened this because I wasn't sure. I was expecting a couple things. I wasn't sure where it was coming from. And when I saw it, I wish I had done a video because I cracked the biggest grin, and I was so happy. But it is out of the package. Um, I'm going to do it backwards so no one can see. Um, but I have opened it, and I've been waiting for this. As all of you know, I entered Draw Treats contest not too long ago. I won the first prize, and I was like, oh, wow. And so I've been waiting to get uh, the videos from him, and he sent them. He sent me a note. Um, the note says, hi, Jamie. I hope all is well. Congratulations on winning my first contest. Here it is. Um, after just over a month of waiting is your prize, a copy of Freak Out, signed by Dan Palmer. I hope you enjoy the movie. Take care, and... Uh, keep kicking ass on YouTube. Draw cheap. Peter. P.S. I've also included a copy of the awesome Evil Dead the Musical, as I promised, because he said that he had that for me, because it doesn't come to our area. I really want to see it, and so it, that was super awesome of him. So first, this is the, the Evil Dead the Musical he sent me. I have, and I'm looking up here because I should have pulled it down, but I have the soundtrack to this, and I listen to it all the time. As a matter of fact, if you hear some strange music at the intro to this video, it's because I decided to throw it in just for fun. Um, but I love, the, I love the soundtrack. I love, I love it. So I have a feeling if I love the songs, I'm gonna love this too. So thank you so much. I cannot wait to watch this, and I'm gonna watch it soon. I've been wanting to watch it, but I just haven't had a chance to. So I'll this here. But the big, <sighs> the big prize, and it's so amazing too, Jamie. Oh, it's so awesome break out and you can see it's on to me yay look up here but then pull on here's the back break out i haven't seen this yet but i cannot wait to see it it looks so outstanding and thank you so much for sending it to me i've i do not own any autograph movies i know a lot of people on youtube do the big collectors and whatnot i do have some autograph books but i don't have anything like this made out to me specifically i'm trying to think the only books i have is by an author named Joey Hill, who I'm a big uh, fan of. I actually got to speak to her on the phone, and I was so excited. She gave me some pointers about work and marketing. Um, but she's the, that's the only book I'm thinking, but I'm pretty sure it's the only book I have that's signed to me by the person. So this is so outstanding. Um, just to show you, it's two discs. And it's so amazing, and it's just, this is the most excellent prize ever. And I just, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much, Peter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I cannot wait to watch this, and I'm going to watch it, and it's so awesome, and it's so outstanding, and it just, uh, and, and you know, I have to say, too, um, I have to thank Dan Palmer for signing it for me. Thank you for taking the time and for just being so awesome and, and for doing this for me because it means so much, and you know, I have something I can show off, and I will show it off, and I'm so proud of it, so thank you so much. I'm so glad I won the contest, and I, I will cherish this. I will take care of it. I will pet it, love it, rub it, pull it out from time to time, and go, look, it's on to me. So um, thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm going to set this over here so it doesn't get into anything, and you just love your package. Uh, again, I'm very sorry I've not been online. It has been hell. It is. It has been so bad. I've got the book coming out, and then I've got other stuff going on, and other books and submissions. And um, I didn't say anything on Twitter, or on Twitter. Listen to me. I said something on Twitter, but I haven't said anything on YouTube. My uh, niece, who is three, 
um, climbed into her parents' bed. They weren't aware of it. And she jumped off of her dad and hit the, the, the floor. And their bed is high. Their bed is about five or six feet off the ground. She landed on her back and knocked her unconscious. And she had a brain bleed. She's been in the neurointensive care unit that has been extremely stressful. She is home now, but she is still getting sick and they're having to monitor her closely. That's part of the reason I've also not been online. I've been worried about family. As I'm sure you can all understand, family comes first. Um, and then of course, as I said, I've been having to do marketing stuff. Um, I'll pull one of these out just because I think they're so damn cool. Um, I had some postcards made up of the new book that's coming out, The Renfield Syndrome. There it is. And my cover artist is just exceptional. I, I loved, when I saw my cover about crap, but there's the back of it um, with praise for dead and dead or somewhere in between. So I was really excited for this. And then let's see if I can pull one of these out. And if any of you guys are interested, you can let me know. When dead comes out, the new re-released edition, I can do a giveaway, but I didn't think anybody would be interested in that, so I didn't want to do it. But here are the bookmarks. So you see three ends all series and one bad corpse can ruin your whole day. So I've been I've been working it. The, the bad thing is, you know, a lot of people, many of you may not know this, but Dead actually did really well. And I was asked for a full by a couple of publishers. By that time, I had already signed elsewhere. And then I had to pull the book. And it is where it is now. Um, but uh, it, it's done a lot better than I ever thought it would do. Um, the new book, the second one in the series, releases in August. That's why I've been working so hard. is because I keep going back and adding to it and revising it. And uh, trying to make it everything everybody wants it to be. But the bad thing is, I'm on a deadline. I have to write the third book in the series by the beginning of June. And as you already know, it's April. If I want to have a spring release, that's very important because a lot of people don't like waiting for books. They've waited over a year for the sequel because um, Dead Undead or Somewhere Between originally released in February of 2010. People don't like waiting that long for a book. And it's not that I wanted them to wait that long. It was just that with publishing issues and whatnot, it was out of my hand. So I have to write the next book and get that to them. So anyway, um, that's just some random stuff. I, I say my clock is going up. I'm sorry I'm so tired. I really do miss all of you. Um, I can tell you, I, I, if you would like to know, I can leave you a link to me on Twitter. Um, I should just warn you, though, I, I don't auto-follow people. It's not that I don't want to talk to you. You can send me a message. And if we start talking quite often, then I'll follow you obviously. But um, I use that for networking. Now, Facebook, um, I don't even know how to leave a link to my Facebook page. But Facebook, I'm never really on it. But every single person that it, uh, sends me an invite, I normally accept it unless it's some crazy person. So you can actually get on there if you want. I'm sorry if I've been slow to respond to messages. I, I've gotten a lot of them recently. It's not intentional. I just I just don't have any time. I mean, it's it's 12.50 right now. I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. I'll probably upload it tonight because I'm going to get to bed here soon. But I have been staying up until 2 or 3 in the morning doing work. And then I have to get up at 6 with my children. Um, I'm running myself ragged. I'm really, really, really tired. And I just don't have a lot of time. I do get on Twitter. Like a lot of people say, well, you're on Twitter. You know, you can't be that busy. Well, it's not that hard because they Twitter's on my laptop. And I'm working. And when I hear someone talk to me, I'll stop and I'll go over to Twitter, answer them, and I'll go back to working. So that's that's what I usually do. I can't seem to stay on Facebook because there's just too much going on and people want me to be in Farmville and all those games. And I just can't. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. So I hope you're all doing well. Um, oh, and one last thing. Um, just in case any of you watch that have a package, I have not been able to get out this week with everything that happened with my niece. I've been at home waiting by the phone. I, I have a cell phone, but, you know, I didn't know if I'd have to call my mother-in-law to watch my little ones. And, you know, because I have a very young toddler. She's three. And so, um, but I'm going to mail out the packages tomorrow. So if you won in the contest, I'm sorry it's taking me so long, but they are going out tomorrow. So you will be receiving them. So, okay, I'm going on the 10 minute mark. That is far too long. Hope you're doing well. I hope that I will be back soon. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being so damn awesome. I appreciate every single one of you and hopefully I'll be back to my peppy fighting self soon. So, uh, until next time, have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.